Hello, my name's Mark and welcome to RC Hacker. Now today, I'm going to do a little bit of range testing with the Open LRS system. Um, the hardware for this one I got from um, Hobby King. I got two RX units and you can also get hardware from Flytron. He's the original guy who made it. Obviously get better support through him. And I've put the Open LRS NG firmware on it. Um, I'll just, just show you the source code here quickly. If you look Look down, we've got the, I'm trying to imagine it here because I've got to put it on film afterwards. You've got the, you've got a few settings. Now I've using the option number two here, which is maximum data rate with the telemetry backlink. So that means we're not going to quite get as much range as we possibly could, but I'm hoping it's going to be enough. I really like the telemetry backlink and I've made some changes to the source code. So. Normally when you lose your telemetry back, back link, the, uh, your transmitter will beep at you to say you've lost the link. Now that tone of the beep, I've changed it, so if I get a high tone, that means when it lost the link, the signal going to the receiver up there was good. Um, if the tone's really low, at the point that it lost the link, then that means the signal was bad. Anyway, enough explaining, let's test this out. So. I've got up here, if you look up here, I've got the, um, the receiver unit just with a servo on there for a test case. And if I move the stick, let's try and get it all in frame. If I move the stick like that, you can see that moving. And if I turn the radio off, it should kick into fail safe there. So that's our fail safe. Right, so let's go for a walk. This is the same test as I did for the FR Sky Gear previously. So I'm going to walk the exact same route and we'll see how it goes. The only difference is I won't have any readouts here on the screen of RSSI values. It is possible to do with more firmware hacks, but currently that's not enabled. I have not done that. So let's go. Let's go for a walk. Like I mentioned um, in my FR Sky one, this is not an open air test, this is a um, test through the trees. So, let's see if we've still got reception. I've had no notification of any um, packet loss at all. Okay, I just walked through this dip here um, and I had my first bit of packet loss. Don't know if we can hear that. No, it's still good. There you go, you could hear that packet loss. That'll be interesting. All right, let's keep going. Now again, we're quiet, so reception is good again now. Actually, I lied. When I did the FR Sky stuff, I went this way. Now, it is beeping occasionally. That does not mean that it's a complete loss of signal. It just means it's the signal that's coming back from the transmit, the um, receiver over there, because it's a two-way system. It's losing some of those telemetry packets. And there's a certain timeout, and that can be set to certain values. There it goes. It's just beeped again. I'm hoping we can hear this through the camera. Okay, you can hear it, it's losing a few there. Now the main thing I'm looking here is I want to see the behaviour as it's losing packets if I still get smooth movement with that servo. Right. Now 
Now, previously with the FR Sky gear, I had pretty much, I was pretty low on my reception. Now, I'm holding that straight up and down, and that's good. Tilt the antenna like that, it starts to drop a bit. Bit worse there. I'm hoping we can hear the tone differences. Okay, let's keep moving. I'm going to drop behind the house here and even more vegetation. Now the FR Sky at this point had totally lost reception. Um, when I had the booster on the FR Sky stuff I still had reception. But that was a bit unfair, that was one watt. This is only running at 100 milliwatts. Still doing all right. I've got a, a house up there. I'm starting to drop below the, the um, level of the ground, and down here, I've definitely, definitely got some uh, fair amount of soil in between us. If I put my hand on there, I'm hoping that's kicked the fail safe in. Let's keep moving. So at this point, it's obviously very dependent on the orientation of the antenna. Um, the antenna is straight up and down in the tree over there. You'd think that would be the best. It was not the case. If I put it sideways, I get better reception. Alright, back into the jungle. Now that should be almost complete loss. Notice if I move it around, the signal gets worse. Put my hand on the antenna, that should be full fail safe. Let's see what happens when it recovers. So I'll take my hand off the antenna. Should be starting to get a bit of signal back. I'm trying to adjust it for the best. Okay, I'm recording this in post because I thought it's worth noting. You can see the failsafe, in my opinion, doesn't quite kick in fast enough. Um, you can see it barely got control there, and the failsafe wants to keep kick in, but it's not quite quite getting there. So I'm sure it could be changed in so in the in the firmware in the source code. The beauty of this open source is that if you don't like it, you can just change it. And yeah, I'd, I'd prefer it to kick into failsafe and stay in it.
for a little while longer, particularly if you've got some sort of GPS system set up for a, a return to home sort of thing. Because there's nothing more annoying than your return to home system sort of kicking in and then kicking out rapidly. You know, it should kick in for 30 seconds and then start flying home. Then you get your reception back and then you regain control again. But that's just personal preference. Okay, I'm going to summarize now. So, in summary, keep in mind that we're testing the OpenLRS NG firmware. Now, I'm basically pulled the latest off GitHub. Um, I may do a video on how I've set this up and flashing it with that firmware in the future. I've actually got this switch, so I can just flick a little switch to switch between the two systems. Um, as far as performance goes, I'm pretty impressed. It goes through a whole lot of trees and a whole lot of jungle. Comparing it to the FR Sky gear, I guess you'll have to judge for yourself um, how it handles signal loss and stuff as I was moving that. I don't know yet, you'll have to look at the video once I put the um, servo and stuff up here. And yeah, but from what I've seen, I really like the feedback and I programmed the tone of it, I programmed that in myself. Um, for me, it's important to have the feedback and I set this for a faster update rate and the telemetry backlink as a sacrifice for range. So potentially you can get more range out of this OpenLRS system by using that slower update rate. So remember that as well. Um, cheers. Thanks for watching. More information on my website and please subscribe. Cheers.